And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Shen, our next unhelpful Yoda deck. And this one looks really, really good. I could see this deck being crazy good. Because first you get the baseline of playing the broken Shurima cards. You got Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner, the Fantastic Four. So you, you already know the deck's going to be pretty good because you got those in here. But then you get Shen, a champion that I've always thought has been underrated, basically for always. Um, I've always really liked playing Shen decks and just think that the barriers are very strong. Barriers are definitely very strong in this metagame also. And so what our plan here is to give Sivir Barrier with the help of Shen or Key Guardian or, or Spirit's Refuge. Because once you have your leveled up Sivir, which as we know, it's not that difficult to level up Sivir. Once you do, then all of your attacking allies have my keyword so it can give all of your allies a barrier. Basically being Bright Steel Protector, give everything else barrier. Now it gets even better. We have Sacred Protector in here that will draw the Shen, and all of your allies that have Barrier also have double attack. So now all of your allies will have uh, Barrier and double attack uh, if you have, you know, like the Sivir with Barrier and Sacred Protector in play. And that just sounds completely absurd. We could even give them Overwhelm too, why not? You know, double attack with Overwhelm. There's three Absolvers that, you know, we'd have the leveled up Sivir, so we'd be able to give it Overwhelm as well. Um, yeah, so, so this looks like it, it could do some crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, we, we also have like the Witch Hunter, or sorry, Young Witch, Merciless Hunter combo. That's always, that's always a good one. But then also just Key Guardian. I think Key Guardian could be a great combo with Merciless Hunter, right? Like round three, if we have the attack token, maybe we didn't play anything on round two. We, you get to play Key Guardian first on round three on the Hunter, wait for them to play some unit on three, and then you play Hunter and get to kill it with that barrier. That just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> so, you know, that, that's even in the deck, too. And then finally, you got Spirit's Refuge, which is an awesome, awesome barrier card. That Lifesteal, you can have Sivir give Lifesteal to everything. That's going to be good. So it looks, this, this deck list looks really good. The only thing looking, like I said, like these are all Unhelpful Yoda's decks today. I'm playing the exact list. The only thing that I would change is, I think Twin Disciplines is way too good to be just a two of, in my opinion. And I think the while the Absolver is cool, and like that, that's a, a nice, cute combo with the Sivir, I think that this is more of a two of card than a three of card. I, I would uh, recommend going two Absolvers, three Twin Disciplines. But we're going to play the deck as is, and so we'll see if I'm incorrect, and we'll see how good Absolver is compared to Twin Disciplines. Um, and then, yeah, oh yeah, also we got a Ghost in here. So yeah, there is a Ghost. So we can give Sivir Elusive. Um, yeah, so that's in here. So we can give Sivir Elusive that gives everything else Elusive. Or if you just give something double attack with your Sacred Protector, you know, give anything double attack, ghost it. You know, that's that's going to kill people for sure. So this deck looks great. Let's go ahead and try it out. Sivir, Shen, we'll go play five games in ranked. And Ramu, uh, Ram brings up a good point that if Sivir gives barrier to everything else, those barriers don't go away during combat unless Sivir's barrier goes away. That's that's the only time it will go away. All right, Timo Sejuani. We do not want to draw extra cards. I like Fae Folk because they, you know, like they do all the puff cat damage. So yeah, we'll go Fae Folk Shen. All right, cool. So Young Witch first. So Young Witch Fae Folk Shen. That's not bad. They they do have you know like they're gonna be like a Brill Steel deck. Like if I just rely on like Young Witch Fae Folk. Uh, quick attack. They can brittle steal the Fae Folk. We'll see. Potentially, we just save the two mana for Twin Disciplines instead of playing Young Witch. Potentially. Another day in the field. Isn't it a Treasure Seeker that says I got a Lizard and a Shovel? I guess that's a Lizard? Question mark? I don't see a Shovel. I don't know about that. So obviously with the Teemo here, we want the Young Witch as even just a Teemo blocker. There's just one Preservarium in the deck. This is not going to be the matchup for that Preservarium. We do not want to draw extra cards against Puff Caps. Frogs, huh? 
by snow and stars. Okay. So they just spent a, you know, troll chant, a valuable card, just to do one damage to Young Witch. Man, Merciless Hunter is not fair. <laughs> not fair at all. All right, let's see. We'll get our legs in. I kind of think. Come on, I think I do this. It's not like I don't care if this two one dies. Let's go this round. Which, I don't know why I'm attacking with the 2-1 now. <laughs> yeah, I guess that 2-1 doesn't need to be attacking. I guess I really didn't care if that 2-1 died. <laughs> Sorry, Treasure Seeker. It's alright, we, we still traded Treasure Seeker for Teemo. Interesting. Fury of the North? Plus three, plus four, so it'd be five. Five? Immediately. What are you? So I guess my challenge would it. Because they had five mana last round whenever I challenged the Fae Folk challenge in the Teemo, so if they did have Fury of the North. Um, I guess I did. I guess I played around Thir Fear of the North pretty well. Eh, Shen can block. We got. There they go. All right, so we're trading one Fae Folk. I don't want to do that. Okay, so we're just killing Starlets here. Our Troll Chance and Twin Disciplines traded. We just get a free kill on a Starless here. Is that third troll chant or frostbite? A get excited. Okay, okay. This would be a good winter. That's not bad. Alright, got rid of lots and lots of cards, right? They only have one card left. Requires a watchful eye. We see through all. Hmm. Nothing's big. And then we're going no attack on Shen and just send it in. I send it in these two things. No, I guess we'll just send in Shen. All right, they kill they kill Shen, but then it's like, how how do they possibly block everything else, right? Like these are horrendous blocks for them. There is Fury of the North. Which is yeah, also the Flash Freeze. Okay, that's obviously that's obviously really good because they get the four. You know, ability the four new Starless Hero abilities, but they are down to like no cards. So I feel pretty good about where we are. Who are you? Take three, gain four. Hmm. Well, that was not as good. Mystic shot. They grow up so fast. Zero out of thirty. Okay, maybe not. You know, playing the Key Guardian on the Sivir kind of makes sense, but it's also just getting these things out. 
Makes a lot of sense. I know where the struggle is. It's never too far. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. They have to block Sivir, they take two. Down to four. And we're hoping Sivir can finish this out. Love to give everything lifesteal. It's all about Sejuani. Sejuani gives them a chance. No Sejuani, probably no chance. With Sejuani, they have a chance. Oh, I was gonna. Oh man, everything was gonna have double attack, life steal, spell shield, the real treasure is and quick attack. Nah, it's the goal. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying Ionia Sharima doesn't really feel fair, and especially yeah with Sivir. Yeah, it does not feel fair. Okay, let's send this back. Now I know I'm not doing anything the first three rounds, but these three cards are awesome in this matchup. I guess I send Sacred Protector back, but it's it's still awesome in this matchup, but we have three copies of Sacred Protector, so it's not like, you know, it's like, so, like there's a good chance that we're going to find it again. These woods protect their own. Intruders! Wow. I wasn't expecting that to hit. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Lulu, where'd she go? Please, Bob. I could see keeping that spell mana this round and seeing if we draw, you know, like twin disciplines or something, you know, something with spell mana, something to use. Yeah, Young Witch is like sneakily incredibly good, right? Because you get. You get kind of like two two worth of stats with like with that support, two 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 elusive with stats with also giving something else quick attack. I don't think I pass, even though they can like Mystic Shot kill Young Witch, then Mystic Shot kill Green Glade Lookout, but still, I don't think I pass. Well, maybe I do. All that glitter is mine. So that's the worst case scenario: is they have a Mystic Shot. Their Mystic Shot kills two different things. But the problem with passing is that, you know, then I don't, I don't only have, like, one of these things next round instead of, like, two things next round. Okay. So you have to use, like, Static Shock. That's not worst case scenario. Well, that changes things. Just out of formation. Fine and wisp. Steady my hand. So yeah, if it is get excited, they'll be get excited in the Merciless Hunter and not the Sivir. draw sacred protector kind of want to draw sacred protector just can't take the head can you get lost 
Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Nailed it. More mystic shots. I'm not gonna save it. Firing. Saving it would just save it at, you know. Everything leveled up now? Yeah. Saving it would just save it at, um, like one health. Definitely wish I had one more mana that I could play Ruin Runner and Spirit's Refuge. Okay, so that just gets rid of the spell shield, right? is obvious. No sweat. No, I just stream one I stream once a day. Um I will be doing more just like variety streams sometime like once a week ish at night. With boot or just by myself, but um right now it's mostly just once a day. All right, we've got lots of barriers. So I'm really glad Ezreal's gone. Ezreal, you know, kind of machine gunning me was about the only thing I was really scared of. So, you know, that's not going to happen. So I'm not too scared of very much. Do you think Sivir decks are stronger than Viego decks? I don't know. It's... Yes, I guess. It's like Viego plus an Hydrovine. Hydrovine in particular can completely dominate, but that's it's not very many cards in the Viego deck, right? So like if you, you can, the Silver decks are going to be a lot more consistent, because Silver decks are going to have four cards that are incredibly good with Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter, Silver, Ruin Runner. Viego has like Viego plus Hydrovine, like two cards that are even more absurd than the Shurima cards, like better than the Shurima cards, but it's only two cards and they cost five and cost seven instead of one, three, four, five. Raven Ezreal. Alright, we got all of our spell shields and barriers. Hand stuff. Okay, not a very good hand. We got a lookout. Okay, hand looks a little better. The ranked season oh, when does like the final season end? Um yeah, I think this this weekend sounds probably about right. It could possibly be tomorrow with like you know they usually do like the updates and stuff or like you know tonight basically because they usually have like the updates on like Wednesdays. Patrol one, patrol two, patrol three. Well, we'll see if they play anything into Merciless Hunter. Nope, they're smart. They did not. So we're going to try to kill that with Merciless Hunter. Heroes go 
Hungry. Another one of those Ezreals. Waking Sands just help enable the rep reputation for like the ricochet as well. Nothing's doing three damage. A three four or a four three? What do we want to kill? Three four or four three? I guess 4 3 because 4 3 can block Ruin Runner. Right, Arda? It's a living. Now, see here. Why did I just. I guess I could have just quick attack killed that. But then they just take 5 instead of take 7. Because they just wouldn't. If they didn't block Sivir, they weren't blocking that. Uh. Yep, yep, yep. Chase what you want without mercy. They don't know what they're up against. Don't blink or you miss me. Watch and learn. Um, yep. Yeah, I hope they don't have thermogenic beam. Good. Mmm. Don't have my unit anymore. I mean, I guess I got the Sivir. Alright, so 22. That'd be 27. 31. But I guess I would want the Faithful having the quick attack more. Than anything else. No, I didn't qualify for the playoff. No, I did not. All right, cool. All right, so we shall put them down to four. That's back to 19. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not. Maybe not. I feel like I'm going to want that Sivir. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. Ezreal can just kill you from so much life. Right, so we're at 19 after attacking. See if we can just take us down. Yeah, it's just going all upstairs. We're just going to be dead from 11? I have one deny, I guess. I guess I had a ghost I could have looked for with this key guardian. I was hoping they were going to kill this Sivir so I could play the new Sivir. That's what I was hoping, but it doesn't look like they're going to do that. Oh, now they're killing the Sivir. Yeah, it's 19 to 0 with with attacking for 2 and then all damage. Like it, This card is crazy. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. And then passing and not not playing that? 
Okay, I like them passing, not playing that thing. Man, not all the mana for both. I want to Shen Spell, but if I Shen Spell and they have another thing that targets and busts up the, like, what? Ez Ezreal just kills you so fast, right? Like, they just hit us for two with Ezreal. And we're just going to be dead before from 19 before we get to attack again. Yeah, that's the card I needed. This is just crazy. As it had to be. We'll get our legs in. Yeah, this is just crazy. As you says, your entire life total of damage. Talia Auction. Would have loved to have this ghost last round to block that Ezreal. Mm. That barrier on that Merciless Hunter. So we can Young Witch, a Young Witch, and then a Hunter. Oh, I'll just trade these two drops. Alright, not ideal. Quick hands make quick work. Oh, hi, Artist gonna make a meal of them. Um Watch your head. I think I trade treasure seeker for either one. And I know I, I could have played the waking sands, but I wanted to Keep up Absolver, or I guess Waking Sands would have killed that through Shapestone. Man, that is absurd. I don't, I don't know if I've, I've actually played Young Witch and, and Merciless Hunter together, but holy cow, that is ridiculous. Just killing a three-five like that for not just for free. Wow. Good people don't look the other way. We love it when they run. How it be? We'll get our legs then. Steady now. It's three one three two things kind of a problem. All 
All right, well, we will have some sacred protectors coming in here in just a minute. Yeah, I did see the new Caitlyn reveal. I think that that looks like a really fun champion. Just, uh, like basically both the champions they've had so far both look very well-designed champions. Very enjoyable champions to play. I think they've done a great job with the champions. This action, go and die. Even if I have to kill it myself. Okay, we'll get some Shens. Oh, wow. Wow, that is perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll have two of these Warlord's Palaces now. Yeah, we did we did Karma Spotlight, I think already. I think it was before Karma went to five mana, I believe. I don't know, that was a while ago. Um Yeah, basically what I, I usually do is just do the random random number generator to determine which champion. Somebody came up with a good idea someone told me to earlier in this stream that I should just do the random no number generator twice for two champions and build a deck with the two champions. And they have had some really, really good cards. They have had some really, really good cards. I don't have like any like wonderful Stand United. I think maybe my best play is doing this. So now they don't have either of those little things to block. They have to block, you know, they have to throw one of those things into this double attack Sacred Protector. But then again, they get to block Shen. Because so if I make this attack... Okay. Yeah, so they don't kill Shen. Ruin Runners. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. We just gotta hopefully not die this round. You know, that's the hope. There's only one card over there. Good. I like seeing that. It's just three random landmarks. Because we probably don't die to a landmark. You know, we'll have, with this having the Stand United and everything. No, we don't main deck Stand United. They're just all, it's just extra sh copies of Shen from these boats. Yeah, so they knew their last card was Talia. I'm surprised they didn't just have the, like, they probably should have just thrown away the Talia. Like, they had to throw something away in front of this double attack card last round. So if they would have just thrown away the Talia, then they could have had their Earth Elemental kill my Shen and play new Earth Elemental and new Talia. Maybe maybe they just drew this Talia for round. Maybe they just had action as their other card. But if they had action, they would have played action last round and gotten the Warlord Tord countdown started a round earlier. So I, I think they had that Talia still. So I think they made some incorrect blocks with thinking that they had it with another Talia. Okay. 
kills that first. I have to... And this kills it first too, right? And it just goes to eight. We walk between realms. I mean, maybe I should just have like my thing die. My desert, my rules. Scared of a fair fight? Yeah, I guess... So, I basically... I traded Stand United for Talia. Strongest and weakest? No! Nox Cry. Should have gave weakest barrier. Strongest and weakest automatically fight each other around it. So three three blocks there, six two blocks here. Is that attack with these two? Let's see three three block, six two block. No, because then they just don't block with six two, but then that's weakest. Okay, yeah, that's what I do. So that basically means they don't get to have their 6-2 trade with my Sacred Protector, right? Because then they have, they, have, they have to make that trade right there. Okay, no unit. Oh, that's a good draw. Yeah, they don't, there's no reason to challenge. Pass, but if I would have, if I would have played Sivir, Sivir dies. That's a great draw. Just this one drop that just makes seven power. That card's absurd. Man, what a crazy game, though. That was a great back and forth game. They had all sorts of awesome stuff. Of course, our deck's amazing. So that was a great back and forth game. And we got Lurkers to finish it out. Spirit's Refuge should be really, really good against Lurkers. They just have, like, big power big responsibility. So I think that, you know, that's going to be really good in late game. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. We should make a Brom Viego Abyss deck. Could be good. Man, that 2-3. Could Viego Victor be anti-meta? I'm not exactly sure how. I mean, I guess possibly. The balance requires a watchful eye. I know it'd be anti-meta about it. So this allows me to ch support, challenge, <clears throat> kill that thing with barrier, and keep Spirit's Refuge available. Like if they would have had, um, you know, like a death from below, they would kill. Like the Shanna could have the Spirit's Refuge available. All right, so our server's at 10, so it's about to be 17. Big. Chase 
This thing also big. Balance favors My desert, my rules. All right, so that's. I'm just thinking, do I block with Merciless Hunter or not? I kind of think not. Ah, uh, gross. Well, that's too bad. This place reeks of rot and death. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? This treasure seeker is just going to do a great job leveling up the sever. We can just have treasure seeker. Treasure Seeker plus Waking Sands go first. That's 7 damage. Gets me to 24. Oh no. And then Sivir's at 29. You're dead meat. Okay. So What's now that'll be 30. Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of and gold. so the Ruin Runner will have Quick Attack as well. Alright, or that's a thing. Need to do it this way then? Yes, yeah, they kill the Rune Runner. After Rune Runner, then Sivir turns into 6 power. But that should still get rid of Rek'Sai, right? So, like, we're trading Rune Runner for. That other large card and Rek'Sai. Yeah. So they have the the five drop, six health, overwhelm thing. That's one card. Then we know the other card's alert card also, or a six drop. Okay, so they have that. We know the other one's also alert card. Okay, now the smart play is to block- No, come on, opponent! I was gonna take it all, because I was gonna play- Next round, I was gonna play Shen, and also Overwhelm, and so we we're gonna double attack, Overwhelm, all of our all, all of our stuff with the Sivir. So we're, they're all gonna have double attack, Overwhelm. Because I wanted to do that. So there we go, there was Sivir, Shen. Man, our deck looked really, really good. Um, like, I, like I was saying, you know, we did lose one game, um, that's, you know, you're not going to win every single game, but we did lose a game, but man, our, our deck looked great with Sivir and Shen together. I love having three Sager Protectors, love three Spirits Refuge. Those are awesome. Young Witch with Merciless Hunter is kind of feels like cheating. Um, but I guess a lot of this kind of does. It, it just it does not feel very fair at all. I was not impressed with Absolver, right? Like there's, there's different times we were in like combat trick battles and I had the Absolver and so I couldn't save like Young Witch with the Absolver or anything like that. I... I was, I think I was correct at the beginning, get, get rid of one Absolver, play three Twin Disciplines. I also wouldn't mind just getting zero Absolvers. There wasn't like any time in any of those games ever that I was like, man, I wish I had an Absolver. It's just, it can, yeah, it can finish games out, but the, the whole deck can just finish games out. Like you just don't, you don't really need to trick up your deck for it, I don't think. But I like the Twin Disciplines more. Um, I, we didn't really do anything with the Key Guardian either, but I, I would want to try to test out Key Guardian some more. But we, I, you know, we didn't do anything with it. Um, let's see. As besides, like the Absolver, other options, you know, could be just maybe more Green Glade Caretaker or more Ghost. I could see, I could see even just Ghost finishing out games a little bit better. I've always liked Rush with Shen, I like to just help it, so like help Shen out. Ancient Hourglass is always underrated, right? Like, there's just other options you can do. You can do more Deny, Nopify, Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave is kind of ridiculous with Sivir. So that could be a thing. And also just amazing with, with Shen Barrier and stuff like that. So you're like, maybe, so you know, like that kind of stuff. I just don't feel like you need a, a spell that just ends the game and kind of doesn't do very much else. That's, that's kind of all Absolver does. Oh, Syncopation. Syncopation is great with just... All sorts of, you know, yeah, Syncopation's amazing. Um, yeah, I would like Syncopation over the Absolver. So Sonic, I think out of these that we said so far, Sonic Wave, Syncopation, these these two I, I really like. I think that they are really strong cards. 
So those could be some good options. And of course, Sonic Wave is great. So it's great with Young Witch, great with Chen. Um, yeah. And it's also great with uh, this card, Waking Sands. All those are great with, with Sonic Wave and stuff. So I would, I would recommend going like those kind of cards instead of Absolver and Key Guardian. Um, yeah. But there we go. Uh, the rest of the deck's amazing, and the deck's really powerful, and so we won lots of games. Lots of good stuff here. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, feel uh, hit that like button over there, and of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Sivir, Shen, together. Uh, you know, we didn't quite get to do the double attack like everybody, because they would concede right before we did it, unfortunately. But I, I think Sacred Protector is awesome with, with these. So if y'all are looking for a new Shen deck or a new Sivir deck, you know, give this one a try and hopefully y'all enjoy it. Let me know over there. Um, I would appreciate that. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.